You don't need a blast pattern. <laughs> that blast pattern, blast pattern, blast pattern, blast pattern. Hey Blast, this is Sean from Blue Dog Blasting. Today we're doing episode four of our nozzle series covering the straight bore nozzle. Stay tuned. Ha! Hey Blasters, welcome back. So today's episode four of the nozzle series, we're gonna be covering the straight bore nozzle. You've heard me talk about the straight bore a couple times throughout the videos in relation to the uh, Venturi's getting a little bit better blast patterns than the straight bores, <laughs> and the long Venturi having 35 to 40% uh, more productive blast over straight, straight bore. So you might ask, well, why would I even use a straight bore nozzle? Well, straight bore nozzles definitely have their applications a lot of times you'll see them in a cabinet. That's why we carry them in three quarter thread as well as the inch and a quarter thread. If you do need something outside of that like a 50 millimeter contractor thread, just get a hold of me. I'll get you hooked up from Kenna Metal. And when you're using these in a blast cabinet or if you're doing any sort of like railings or grills where you're only blasting, you know, a small piece of something, you don't need a blast pattern <laughs> that big because you're gonna be wasting media. So let's concentrate your blast pattern down to a small pinpoint, hit your target, get all your media, the use out of it that you can, and just be more productive on the job. That's where these nozzles are gonna come into play. So to take a look at these like we did with the uh, Long Venturis, is um, <laughs> as the <laughs> abrasive and air come in, it goes straight through the nozzle. There is no venturi or taper to this where the uh, abrasive concentrates and then explodes out and gives you a blast pattern. This is just going to come straight through so you're going to have a lot finer point, uh, basically just a hot spot, no overspray to it. All that abrasive is coming out. So like I said, we've got these in the <laughs> inch and a quarter thread with the uh, on the website we have them listed with the tungsten carbide poly jacket brass threads and in the three quarter inch threads we have these in tungsten carbide and boron carbide we'll do another video over the nozzle comp positions so that you know what to buy and make <laughs> an educated decision for the best application for your next coming project. Now get out there and blast. Get out there and blast! Ah, uh, cut and we're gonna have to edit. 